of this class is the comparative studies of Japanese culture industry and the style of teaching of this class is the combination of the you know, lecturing, talking to the students and the dialogues with them in these cultural industries uh, it, but especially focused upon Japanese you know, mangas and animations and occasionally Japanese food such as Japanese sake, liquors. And the language using in this class is very basic, easy English to provide them the foundation for discussing uh, this, uh, these issues in a global and comparative perspectives. After attending these classes, the participants, students, are expected to have some basic knowledges about what defines cultural industries and its great, great promises in this cultural industry in the near future. With its overall situations here in Japan, comparing them to their own cultural and societal background of their own countries. Perhaps some of the international students already have some interest on Japanese culture, including Japanese popular cultures. And this class aims to provide them the ways to connect these interests toward more academic discussions in the, uh, you know, researching in cultural industries, utilizing the very fact that these international students are already here in Japan and exposing themselves to the uh, popular Japanese cultures in their daily lives. Um, I took this class um, besides that it is in English um, because it's a good combination between uh, humanities and also cultural and social studies and economy. So um, this is, a, in my point of view, a very unusual combination um, and it opens up uh, new perspectives and uh, also practical insights and I wanted to learn about Japanese culture, of course, so this is a perfect course for me. I think uh, the main point I learned in this class is uh, about Japanese culture and society from uh, a sociological but also from an economical perspective. And um, the good thing is that the focus is not only on Japan but also uh, on the global uh, impact of Japanese culture on mainly Europe. So uh, we learn about the branding and the promoting of uh, Japanese culture also in Europe. And this is very cool for the international students because they really can um, use their knowledge and uh, their cultural background. And uh, the atmosphere in the course is very uh, interactive um, and we do a lot of quizzes and we can uh, really um, tell about our backgrounds um, and we have a lot of guest speakers who tell us about different interesting topics so it's a very uh, broad uh, wide course so that you can learn a lot of things there. I think the, the good points of Kobe University for international students uh, are the uh, wide offers of courses so um, there are many courses taught in English and also um, with international relevance but um, also uh, Japanese language courses for nearly every level and um, I think about Kobe University uh, the most important and convincing thing is the excellent support international students get so um, every international exchange student gets a Japanese tutor who helps with the first steps in Japan and um, you also get help from uh, the international center or the faculty if you have any problems so this is a very good support system here and um, I think uh, Kobe is also a very uh, big and interesting city and you can do many things like from shopping to hiking to learning about history that you can do all kinds of things here so um, and it's not um, overrun by tourists so um, it's a very authentic Japanese experience you get here when you come to Kobe and it's a good uh, starting point for different trips to the Kansai region like Himeji or Kyoto and uh, you can see a lot of uh, famous sites here.